we've finally made our way back to Aurora Shores today after what was quite possibly our best hunt ever over on Nespers on Friday's livestream. And if you want to see some clips from that hunt, I've already got one on the Eclipse channel and there will be more to come. But we are still on the quest here on Aurora Shores for a 5-star caribou and that's going to be the kind of main focus today. Now, I do think we've just kind of aged forward one cycle, so I want to check some of our spots, make sure there's nothing crazy going on, and once we've done that, we're going to pretty much go after caribou and shoot almost anything we can that looks even remotely helpful to the herds. And straight away here, that's actually pretty encouraging. We've got a fairly brown looking still, three star mature, and this is the herd that we had a two star mature, like 85% or something like that that we shot on stream. So I'm thinking there's probably pretty solid genetics here. And if there's anything in this herd that we can maybe take to help out, that's going to be what we want to do. And that guy there is really obviously uneven. So when he steps out from the brush, I think we'll just try to drop him. Gonna need enough of an opening and maybe if we can get by these trees so they don't catch the bullet. Kind of got their attention again, but what we can actually do then is just try to headshot that guy. That'll do just as well. And I kind of think even that one may be uneven, so that'll be something to look for. But ever since we shot the 80 plus percent two-star mature in this herd, this has kind of been my main focus on this map. I'm really hoping he can get there. There's some other caribou that I've got some hopes for, but that's by far the highest genetic potential one we've ever shot. And... Knowing there's another three-star mature in that herd that looks pretty encouraging, I really just am hoping that's going to be the one. But as for this guy, I wouldn't be shocked if he's below 50%. That is really uneven. He was brain shot there at 140 yards, 63%. So even that's decent. And he's so obviously uneven. So really hoping that's the herd that produces our first five-star caribou. I can't wait to finally get to see one, but... It's gonna take that kind of stuff probably for a while longer at this rate until we get to see it come up. That may just be a five-star Roosevelt. He's a big four-star, and you know what? I think he still has a cycle in him. If we look really closely, his forehead isn't that, like, light gray color, and that's what I've noticed with, like, the old Roosevelt elk. They get, like, a really kind of light gray forehead, and it's quite noticeable, so there is a chance that in the future we'll have another five-star elk, but... I'm actually really happy we jumped down here today. This herd just isn't here often, and we've killed a five-star from it in that exact location before, and I just don't even know where else to encounter them. So we'll quickly go through that's exactly what we want to take right there. One star mature, and while he is facing us, let's try to get that hard shot in there with the star SM12. That should be at about 219. That'll do the trick. And that dude right there as he runs off is definitely one we want to look out for. Hopefully he's gonna get there. Like I said, I think he does have some more age on him. So we'll come back sometime in the future and maybe we'll have another one for our lodge. But obviously there must be a wide range of genetics throughout that herd because if we have a one star mature and a potential future five star mature, there's quite a lot going on there. Even that guy though is 49%. So probably by the time he reached the peak age, cause he was a younger mature, still kind of brown in color. He may have been two or three stars, but even still, that is no doubt going to benefit that herd in the future, kind of bringing that average in that herd up. And I guess we'll keep on looking down here on the South Island because things have no doubt aged seeing that four star in there. You know, I mentioned that we don't have a five star caribou yet, and that's something I really want to get on this map more so than anything else. But we also have not had the fortune of finding a five star Sitkin here. We've had a couple that I thought would make it and have died of old age. So while we're here, we might as well go ahead and try to take this guy out. Pretty obviously an uneven one got a spike on one side, and I think he's a three point on the other. Let me go for the back of the next shot there. May even save the trophy, not that we'd want to attack from my set anyway. But that's another species, and I've had a four star here that I did think may have a shot at it. But we just don't do enough managing for them. We go after the Roosevelt Elk and the Kodiak Bear and stuff down here, and we just kind of leave the sick of deer on the back burner. So... That was indeed a neck shot or a spine shot as far as the game's concerned. 58%, kind of a funky looking one. But even still, got that out of the herd and got, hopefully, a little improvement for the future response here. This is pretty good to see though. We've got two three-star matures and a two-star mature. And I'm not actually sure if any of them would be all that wise to take out. I'd imagine it would be good. 
maybe to take the two star because he's just kind of a forky. <sighs> this may be a bit of a learning opportunity, but we are going to take that shot and go and see what he ends up as. I kind of think that has been a bit of the problem with the second deer as well. I never know exactly what to shoot and what to leave, and I end up probably leaving too many there and not really doing anything to benefit those herds. So ideally, we've got three deer around the same age and one of them is a little bit lower trophy rating, therefore probably lower genetic potential, but it's also possible he's younger and is a higher potential. That's where I kind of get stuck, but at some stage we have to just start trying some stuff out and see what happens. I should have marked that he's actually laying right over there, so let's see what he actually is. He's, I thought, kind of grayish. Up close I would say that's probably the case. Hit him a little bit high at 181 yards, but he is a 74%, so I mean, not anything that would be anywhere near future 5 star, and I mean, if the two 3 stars are higher than that, whatever comes from this could be pretty good. But now we reach the point where we're going to go ahead and start to shoot pretty much any caribou that looks even remotely detrimental to the herds, and I think, even though this is a 1 star young, that guy's uneven, actually this one may be more uneven. So both of those probably need to be taken out, which is a little bit disappointing. There was a 4-star caribou in this herd, and I pretty much knew he wasn't going to get the 5-star. He was a very great 3-star, but I was hoping by leaving him, maybe something good would respawn from just his genetics being present in the herd. But looks like at least immediately, those respawns are not going to be future 5s, but we're going to be shooting a lot of that stuff. And obviously that 4-star wasn't there, aging has happened, and he has died of old age. And speaking of aging, I've been out here on Aurora Shores, off camera, just trying to manage these herds as well as possible, and some things have worked out a little bit better than the caribou. Well, that's pretty cool to see. We've got another 5-star mountain goat in this herd, and this was at one time meant to be the third goat in the multi-mount for the Aurora Shores Lodge, and we actually killed the first two 5-stars on stream. One of them out of this herd, you can check out that clip on my clip channel if you want to go and see that, but it turns out that multi-mount actually does not require three males. It requires two males and a female, so we've since completed the multi-mount, but I've still been keeping an eye on this guy and it must be a really good herd for genetics to have two make five star basically back to back. He is just now starting to go broadside next to once we put the gun down, but 30 odd six even at that quartering away angle, gonna be more than enough to drop him in his tracks. So, that's gonna be five star number three here on Aurora Shores. And the biggest question is honestly, where are we gonna put him? Cause he will not go in that multi-mount. First things first though, not our best photo, but certainly not the worst. And then the question is, how big is this guy actually? We right long shot him at 186 yards. He is a 92%, which I'm thinking the other one out of this herd was right in that area as well. Total score of 468. So. Definitely not big enough to potentially replace one of the ones we have in that mount anyway. So he'll probably go on a wall plaque somewhere, and that'll probably be good because I think every 5-star we've shot so far is full body mounted. Also, by the way, apologies for having two different promotions for the clip channel in this video. I recorded the Mountain Goat before the stream on Friday, so I didn't know we were going to have an insane hunt on Nez Perce. It would also end up with some clips, but anyway, this guy was a 34%. Man, is that disappointing. After so many ones that kind of look like this, that are, you know, 60, maybe even 70% unevens that I think are eventually going to lead to something good, that's surprising to see one that low in that particular spot. But what is also interesting is that normally there are like three herds around here, and only one actually showed up today. So obviously they're in other like rarely used drink zones or something like that. But hopefully at least they're looking a little better because that is not what I was hoping to see. Speaking of caribou being in weird spots, I don't know what this herd is doing here, but it looks to me like maybe a couple of them are decent sized. That guy's got really good tops. And there's another mature one out front. I would say maybe that one's a little bit smaller, but let's try to scoot into range. Maybe we can just cut them off and let them walk good and close. Because that way we can identify any uneven antlers on the other ones and stuff like that. But I'm thinking this must be the herd that we're after. There was a two-star adult or maybe two different two-star adults in a herd in this area. And normally they're like way down there. So I don't know if they're off to their feed zone or where they're going at the moment. But other than the one down on the main river, 
This is the only other spot at the moment that I'm thinking maybe we have something for the future. On the bright side, even though we haven't spotted either of the big ones, and I think they're both right there, we may have a candidate to take out in the meantime. That's a three star. This guy I think probably is too. And I'm not sure, you know, what that means. I don't know if a three star mature caribou that I want to say was a three star in the past. I think if this is the same herd, it was a kind of more brown in color three star like what we saw down there on the main river. So maybe one or both of these guys have a shot at it. But again, we know they have to be a decent genetic potential. This guy's uneven, and he's also like 12 meters away. So let's go ahead as he's getting good and close. Ooh. Now that won't pass through and hit the three star. Not a full body pass through, maybe broadside, but going lengthwise, that wouldn't be possible. So that actually kind of works out. No risk of hitting him there. And even though the bullet path is showing low, it's interesting it only seems to do that, like front on. I wonder why that would be. Either way, 51%, almost undoubtedly the lowest genetic potential male in that herd. So that's pretty good. At least we got a number of them taken out, and it was good to encounter them there, because it is sometimes tough to find them down here. I mentioned that we spotted that one as a seemingly younger three-star mature. That was on stream on Friday, just flying down through here running in front of us. So if they hadn't been in a spot that they really never are, I don't know if we would have gotten the shot at that one. It's looking like just about every herd with even semi-promising caribou does have something there to take out. We've got another really uneven one-star adult. So why don't we do the exact same thing here? We'll go ahead and drop him as well. And we'll watch those two two-star matures run off. One of them was a little bit more brown in color than the other. And I still don't know if any caribou ever can go from two-star adult to three-star mature. Every single one I've seen that I thought was decent still goes to two-star mature first. So maybe there's hope there. I really have no idea. This was the herd that we found our first ever four-star in. So I continue to check here and work with this herd. But hard shot that guy as well, a 45%. And as we continue down through here, I mentioned before that some things have been working out more than caribou, and that was said plural on purpose. It was not only the mountain goat that we've been watching that aged to 5 star, we had another animal that we've been keeping a close eye on that finally did make it. You know, it's amazing. We spend so much time specifically trying to get a 5 star caribou, and we can only manage our herd so much, and as we wait for time to pass, we run into these other things. This was a 4 star moose. And obviously, he has now made it to 5 star as well. He did catch on to us there, which was kind of the point. I want to try to call him back this way. We have already shot a 5 star moose with the crossbow, so we'll go ahead and try to take him with the 300. Though it might be cool to maybe heart shot him front on if we can get him to turn around. That's kind of what we're looking for. 125 out. If he'll just stay like that. I thought he was going to just tip straight over. We may have hit the heart anyway, because there's a lot of blood there. And either way, he is going to go down, though maybe not immediately. That's... Oh, man, I thought he was going to stay like that. That was going to be perfect for a screenshot. Either way, I think we finally have an animal to go on the mantle in the trophy lodge. Speaking of trying to get things onto the wall, that guy's going to go there as well. And frankly, I'm not sure we'll even try to get a photo of that. If he had just stayed how he was... It was perfect, but nice ivory times on that guy. I don't know if our other one is that good, but let's take a look here. That, we did hit the heart, so the bullet path is still bugged and will still show hitting way lower than it actually did, but it was apparently a direct hit to the heart and a lot of lung cavity damage. The fact that he went anywhere is insane because you can drop him. Heart shot with the crossbow, or even I think lung shot with the crossbow, so to take the heart shot at 100 yards from the 300 and go as long as he did, is pretty impressive. That's an 88%. So most likely this is, I mean, it would have to be like his last year. I can't imagine he would be a five star for longer than that, but that would also mean he's pretty low scoring 453. Now we had seen this with our first five star. It was a 457 if I recall. And I forget the requirement, but it's a little bit lower than most. I don't think it was 450 flat though. So I want to see if we can find that. Alaska moose are 449. So he is just barely a five star, but our second one and one for the mantle there in the lodge. So it's cool to see that our efforts are indeed paying off, just not quite yet with the caribou. But speaking of things that 
we are maybe neglecting to hunt all that often, we almost never even bother to check for Kodiak bears anymore. And I thought it might be a good way to wrap up this hunt. As we are approaching grizzly drink time, it's basically hitting it now. They start drinking at 7, but every animal in the game actually leaves their previous zone about a half hour early and starts to move into their new zone so that they're there at the time that it actually starts. So I think we may go and look at the caribou feed zone we have marked and then we'll run down and look for some Kodiak bears. I really want ideally several five stars. They look incredible in the lodge and there's some really cool mounts, but if we never hunt them, we're going to have a hard time getting any. Now that is interesting. We've got a four star mature caribou up here and I'm thinking it's probably the herd that drinks down here. Which, if it is, he was a 3 star for a long time and I would say is likely to die of old age, but he actually maybe is a little light. But he doesn't look that great. And frankly, as much as I'd love to just get, you know, several 4 star caribou that maybe have no chance at making 5 star in the lodge, I just feel like it's never worth it. If that guy is a potential 5 star and we shoot him now just to get him on the wall, I would be absolutely heartbroken. So let's instead take a look at the other ones in here. There's a two star mature and then this adult, which what I want to know is if he's uneven, and he is. So let's just get him instead. And then we really have to keep an eye on this herd. As far as I can tell with caribou, most of them, when they reach five star, it's their last age cycle before they just die of old age. So we got to make sure we get back here as soon as aging happens again and take a look at that guy. But at least maybe by taking this uneven one star adult, as we've been doing throughout the hunt, we can contribute to whatever comes next, and maybe if that 4-star doesn't make it, whatever offspring he has could have a chance. But at least now, we've passed a little bit more time going to get this guy, which was a 66%. That's more along the lines of what I was talking about with the 1-star young earlier that was like 30-something. When you see a really obviously uneven one that's still like 60 or 70%, that gives you some encouragement about what is left in the herd that's actually even and looks like it's got potential. But let's sell that. It is now 6.53. We'll jump down to the South Island and see if we can find any. That would be a fairly big if. I definitely struggle to find Kodiak bears in any kind of significant numbers, but just to kind of go around and spend some time, that's more than we've done lately. And even just that is pretty encouraging to see. It had some context though. This was like a one star young for quite some time. And I want to say that we shot a three star for a mission or something like that. And this was his respawn. The fact that I thought we had passed so much time and he's still only a two star adult and they live for 27 years or something like that. So it's gonna take a while for him to reach peak maturity, but even still, we've obviously got a long way to go. And probably things that were a mature even a month ago could still be around, but the problem is actually finding them. So I guess knowing that's not something we can shoot, We'll try to find another spot and see if we can locate another bear. I really don't know if we'll be able to find any we can take, but we'll see. And unfortunately, as it is pretty much dark, the only thing we're able to find are a couple of two-star adult Kodiaks. Now, both are responding to high fitness colors, so that's definitely a plus. And I think that's probably about the only way to make a determination about what Kodiaks to shoot. It's just, if any ever respond to a low fitness color, we could take them out. Other than that, it would just kind of be, you know, really paying attention to specific ones, seeing how they age and if they increase in star ratings. And when we're so focused on caribou and stuff like that, that's really just not all that feasible. But I wanted to come back to the lodge. We do have our moose now up here on the chimney. We've also got our mountain goat up on the second level, but we might as well rest the morning to be able to see him better. And as I said, at least some things are going better than our caribou grind. I actually wanted to have the moose down low, but their antlers are so big that it clips through the second level floor. So I guess we're going to want to get like a five star bison for this. And hopefully one day that can happen as well. Maybe in the process of trying to get this caribou, it could happen that way. And I guess even a five star elk could work, which that we know we have an opportunity at sometime in the near future with the one that we were looking at today. As for our mountain goat, I wanted to start to get some of these smaller wall plaques filled. And I thought that guy would fit quite well there. One of these days, caribou and Sitka deer along with mountain goats hopefully will fill all these things, but it's going to be a slow process. And at least we're starting to get a little somewhere with our five stars here on Aurora Shores. But 
Anyway, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.